Hey everyone, it's your girl D Woods, your favorite, and you're watching Where You Been? Immediately departing from the group, um, you know, full steam ahead, it's not, you know, the end of the world. Things happen, you have to be flexible in this business, and you know, nothing, I didn't take anything personal. You know, it was just, you know, one door closes, a window's gonna open over here. And immediately, I was just working on music, collaborating with people who I had, you know, good chemistry with. One of the first records that I did was called The Gray Area, because it was just a transition project. And one of the records is called Foolish Dreamer, and it also features my sister, Chanel, who is my real blood sister. We got the same mama and daddy. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's a lot of people who can relate to this Foolish Dreamer concept, especially in the arts, because it's not an overnight thing. You have this idea when you're little, when no one else sees you, you're in your room by yourself singing, you know, you, you couldn't get studio time, nobody thought you was dope, nobody would put you on a showcase, but you had to keep believing in yourself. So I started a nonprofit organization to inspire like high school students who may be in a position that their reality doesn't match up to their aspirations. So the Foolish Dreamer mentor program was born <laughs> from the song. Well, to me, Danny Kane split up in 2008. <laughs> so that's what I think. I don't know. I don't really have much, much to say about it. I, I'm not surprised, I guess, but yeah. I think of it as, you know, when you worked at um, Six Flags over the summer and you got cool with people because you had to work with them. Yeah. It was like, we were cool. I, I, I did what I had to do to make, you know, the atmosphere work. A lot of it was swallowing and condensing and, you know, putting a lot of myself to the back burner just to make, I felt like I had to do that to make it comfortable in the room. Um, I tried to really not go there. <laughs> I really tried to really not go there because um, it probably would have ended a lot sooner. But I will say this, that from my, from my experience, from my perspective, the way that things ended was not because of personal issues. It was, you know, more, you know, administrative and an executive decision. For me, anyway. I don't know how other people feel. Well, my experience being on a reality show um, was, it was kind of an out-of-body experience a little bit because I was kind of watching myself as it was happening. So in my mind, I was laughing, like I was watching it, like I'm a spectator, but then it's like, oh no, but this is me, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't take this brick, whatever. But you know, just keeping myself balanced, just remembering what, why I was there, you know? Like I didn't come to the audition to be a reality star. I came to be an artist at an audition for an opportunity and just so happened there's some cameras in the room. So I'm gonna do what I always do, regardless of who's watching. And if it's meant for me, then it is. And if it's not, cool, I did my best. That's how I took the whole experience. Um, I never really had a relationship with him at all. I'm not sure, knowing what I know now, um, I'm not sure. I, initially, I wasn't gonna even do it. But I kind of, you know, I had some people that I was working with, some producers that thought that it would be a good look whether I make it or not because it's a platform, you know, to showcase what you can do. I kind of always had in the back of my mind, like, all right, don't get too comfortable, basically. Well, all the things that Miss D Woods has been working on um, include, one, I'm on tour right now with Candy Burris in her production, A Mother's Love. Um, Candy is starring in the show along with Q Parker from 112, Shirley Murdoch, Tony Terry, myself. We have a really great cast and we just kicked off the tour um, this past week and we go until December to a city near you, so check us out. <laughs> We're going everywhere. Um, while I'm on the road, I'm also promoting my new single called Your Tattoo featuring Paul Wall. And this is the first release 
with my new um, joint venture with Wood Grain Entertainment, which is my independent label, and Sony Red Distribution. So I'm really excited to, you know, to start pushing out music with this new, you know, entity, new machine that is supporting the movement. The only, the only reason why I still think of that part of my career so much is because I'm always asked about it. I wasn't there when them two girls got in a fight. I don't care. It's not a part of my life. I was over here. I was in rehearsal. All these projects that I'm working on now, I just want, you know, fans, the public, you know, the industry to just really take a, you know, it's hard to make the first impression the second time, but my, me telling you that this is the first time you're meeting Deep Woods, really. And I just want you guys to be open-minded and expect the unexpected and join the movement. <laughs>